Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome everyone in today's class for the second elementary grade. Our textbook is uh, Weekend 2, and today, inshallah, we will cover Unit 2 Friends, Action, Things in Phonics Practice on page 66. This lesson will be presented by me, teacher Mazen al Harbi, and the sign language by Mr. Fawaz al Agil. So let's begin. Quick revision on our last lesson, La our last uh, phonics uh, practice, what we did is that we did listen to different words and uh, after this we uh, did determine what is the last sound of each of these uh, words, whether if it ends uh, with the um, uh, sa sound or za sound or is sound and we put a check mark. Not only this, but after we listened, after we put a check mark on the right or the exact sound, what we did is that uh, we rewrite the word again. So the words that we practice on in our last phonics practice were apples, apricots, onions, cookies, chips and sandwiches and we said that we do have three different sounds of each of these words and also we did the practice how to answer questions with have and how to ask uh, to answer a question that starts with do you have do you have a pen do you have a notebook and we said that here we only have two possible answers. Either we say, yes, I do, or we say, no, I don't. So these are the two possible answers for questions that starts with, do you have? And also, we talked about uh, how to use and. We said that. If we want to, or if we have two things together that comes with each other, here we can use and. For example, do you have cookies? Yes, I have cookies and milk. I have cookies and milk. These are two things that comes together. This is why we use and. And also, uh, one more question we practice on, do you have a computer? As we said, the two possible answers, yes, I do, or no, I don't. And also regarding but, and when we talk about how we use the word but. So, if we have something, but when we don't have the other thing, here in this case, we use uh, the word uh, but. For example, do you have notebooks? Yes, I have a notebook, but I don't have a pen. But I don't have a pen. So if I have one thing, but I don't have the other, here in this case, we use the word but. And if I have one thing and I have the other, here in this case we would use the word and. I have cookies and I have milk. So our objectives uh, in today's uh, uh, lesson, we hope that at the end of this lesson you can uh, be able to ask and say who something is using uh, by uh, the person name. So. Let's start uh, by uh, opening your books on page 66. I would like you please to open your books on page 66 to begin the, our phonics practice of today. Now, on page uh, 66, as you can see here, we do have an interesting exercise. What I would like you to do in this uh, exercise, uh, three things. The first thing is I want you to listen to listen to this girl 
uh, girls talking. After we listen, I want you to practice to repeat what they were saying. And also after this, I would like you to, me and you, we're going to uh, start tracing, to write on uh, above these uh, words. So the first part is that we're going to listen to this conversation between the two friends. After that, we're going to practice. We're going to repeat after them again. So, let's uh, begin listening to uh, this uh, conversation. Whose hat is that? Maybe it's Nora's. Let's ask her. Very well. Now, we're going to listen again, and this time, we're going to listen and repeat after them as well. Let's now begin by listening uh, to her. Whose hat is that? Now, we will repeat the first one. Repeat after me. Whose hat is that? Whose hat is that? Let's do it faster. Whose hat is that? Very well. Now, let's listen to the other, uh, to the other part. Maybe it's Nora's. Maybe it's Nora's. Let's repeat. Maybe it's Nora's. Maybe it's Nora's. Now, let's listen to the third part. Let's ask her. Let's read this. Let's ask her. Let's ask her. Repeat after me. Let's ask her. So, in this conversation, we have listened to the question that we used uh, all the time in our practice, which is, whose is that? And we learned that we can use this question by asking about any item we have. By asking about any item we have and who is this item belong to. Uh, whose bin is that? Uh, whose TV is that? And whose pointer is that? And we said that when we want to talk about uh, the uh, person name, we use the name added to it. Uh, S. Now, we did the listen, we did practice, we repeat, and now it is time for tracing. Now it is time for tracing. So me and you will trace uh, these uh, words. So let's begin. So let's start uh, by the first uh, one, or the first sentence. Let's uh, try to trace uh, the first uh, sentence. Who's like this? You take, you use your pen, and you can move uh, 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 about, uh, above uh, this uh, word. Who's, who's, this is the first word. Whose hat is this? Whose hat? Whose hat is whose hat is this? So it's very important that we do tracing. It helps us to have a good writing. Whose hat whose hat is that? These are questions that we use all the time. If you want to know about something and what is the per or who is the person that owns this thing, whose whose hat is that? 
And don't forget, always in each question, we do have a question mark. So it's very important that you do trace on these words. Let's continue here with the answer. So here we have the answer, maybe, maybe this is, maybe it's an orus. So if you are not sure about something, this is where we use the word maybe. Maybe it's Norris. So this is how we do trace. It doesn't have to be 100% accurate as long as you do practice and learn how uh, to or where to put your pen and how to start uh, writing each letter. So maybe it's uh, Norris. And as you can see here, it's very important that uh, we do trace each part. Maybe it's Norris. Now let's trace uh, the last part here we have. That start with the word the let's. So let's let's ask her. We don't know uh, whose hat is that. So we said that maybe we're not sure. Maybe it's Nora's. So since we are not sure, let's ask her. Let's ask her. Let's go and ask uh, Norris. So tracing is very important. If we do want to have a good writing, maybe uh, if we want to have a good writing, it's very important that we trace. Trace is important. So this is how you do it. I hope that you have better tracing than me. Now, let's move on to uh, the uh, second uh, question in our lesson. In this question, we're going to ask and answer and also write. So how this question goes? As you can see here, here we have six different words about six different items. And uh, these words are, these words are plows, cab, dress, T-shirt, skirt, and sweater. So, what we need to do now is to use the question, whose blouse is that? Or whose cab is that? And if we want to know who is the person, here, as you can see, Nura has all of these uh, uh, items or all of these clothing. She has the skirt the blouse and the dress and here Faisal he has a t-shirt a sweater and a cap what we need to do now is to make questions and answers so this is a first example so you have the list of words here above uh, these uh, above these uh, pictures and what you need to do is just to ask question, uh, to learn how to ask, and also how to answer. So let's begin with the first question that is written here as an example. Whose skirt is this? Whose skirt is this? So we're talking about this skirt. And if we want to answer, this skirt belongs to Nora. So we would say, it's Nora's. It's Norris. Let's make another question. Whose blouse is this? Whose blouse is this? Blouse is one of Nora's clothing. So the answer will be it's Norris. It's Norris. Let's make a third one. Whose dress is this? Whose dress is this? 
So dress is one of Nora's clothing. So the answer will be again, it's Nora's. It's Nora's. So you see how we can change the item, but we keep the same question. We keep whose? We keep is this. And also uh, regarding the answer, we only write a person name and then we add to it S. It's Nora's, it's Sarah's, it's Emma's, and so on. Now, let's try to answer the second part. So here, our friend uh, Faisal, let's ask about this T-shirt. The question will be, whose T-shirt is this? Whose T-shirt is this. So here we underline T-shirt. And since T-shirts is uh, one of Faisal's clothing, the answer will be it's Faisal's. It's Faisal's. Number two. Whose sweater is this? Whose sweater is this? Here we underline sweater. And the answer will be it's Faisal's. It's Faisals. And the third one, here we only have one word left. Whose cap is this? Whose cap is this? And we underline cap, and since cap is one of Faisal's uh, clothing, we can say it's uh, Faisals. You see, it's very important that we know how to ask questions using whose. We only, what did we change here? Only uh, the item or the clothing, t-shirt, sweater, cap, but we kept the same question. And now, our, uh, at the end of our lesson, it's very important to remember our goal. And our goal in this lesson is to ask and say who something is. And how to ask about this? Only by changing the items. As we can see here, only by changing the items. And if we want to answer, all what we have to do is just uh, to write the person name. Like here, for example, we have uh, Faisal's, before we have Nura's. So according to the role, it's very important that we use or we change the person name and we add to it uh, uh, S letter. This is how we can answer questions that starts with uh, whose question that starts with whose not only with clothing but even for school uh, things and for food and uh, etc so now my dear student at the end we have reached uh, the end of our lesson uh, thank you very much and i will see you next time